All right, ladies and gentlemen, Lena's feeling good, darlings. All right, guys, so I want to mention this because sometimes it's really important to mention these things that maybe people don't really notice or don't think really is is something that you are experiencing, all right? And they might not know why they're upset or they might not know why they're feeling like something's wrong, okay? So I love TikTok, don't get me wrong, I love TikTok. I could watch it for like six hours in a day. I really I really do watch it six hours in a day. Well, not all day, not every day because I have no time. I do work. but. I have time when I have time to watch it. I watch it a lot. I watch it tons and tons, and I really, really enjoy it. I can literally watch it more than anything else. I really spend a lot of time watching it. Now, what I really love about TikTok is that if you don't take it too seriously, you could really enjoy it. Like you have to remember that there are a lot of messages on there that are very negative. You know, they might be very much like. You know, if you're experiencing something that's kind of traumatic, you might be like seeing it and it brings back memories or you might be like, or you might be like, whatever, it's really tough. Or like the dating situation, right? Like a lot of the dating situations on there can be traumatic. And if you're dating and you're like, is there a positive person out there? You know, so you're, you're watching all these videos and give me a second, guys, there's a hair in the way. Oh, I don't know where it is. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, so if you're watching it and you're seeing all these, a lot of these videos bounce back and forth to, like, really traumatic things to, and then to, like, really positive things. So, so if you are basing how you feel upon your TikTok session, then you're constantly going to be addicted to it to get a certain feeling out of it. Whereas if you watch it for pure enjoyment and you know that this sort of happens, then you're gonna enjoy it more and you're gonna actually watch it more for enjoyment. Give me a second, guys, with the hair. Then take the wig off, just give me a second. This is bothering me. Okay, let me put the white hair back on. I'm obviously Marco Dolly's guy. There we go, okay. So if you're watching, sorry guys, <laughs> I don't like to do that darling, but I have to. So if you're watching TikTok for the, to get out of a situation or to feel better or to, and that's fine, you can do that. But just remember that a lot of those videos bounce back and forth to how you're feeling and how you are needing to get out of a situation and then brings you back in, okay? So remember that you have to sort of like watch it for the entertaining ones and watch for all of them. Maybe some of them really do resonate with you more. Maybe some of them do make you feel good. Maybe some of them, you know, bounce you back to negativity, but you like the channel anyway. So it's not a big deal if you can take it with a grain of salt, you know. There are times where I watch it and I'm like, I'm feeling this way. And I see videos that make me take, it, take me out of that. And then they see videos that take me into that and bring me into a better... I, I end up usually feeling better overall, which is good. But, you know, you really don't want to be, like, relying on TikTok to make you feel better, you know, when you could do that on your own, right? So, anyway, um, and same with YouTube, you know, you could watch a video, you could watch a commercial that makes you feel better, and then you can watch another one that makes you feel worse. And then by the end of the day, you're just watching constantly, and you, you're just relying on TikTok or YouTube to make your mood when you really know what your mood is initially and it's totally lost, like it's totally lost on you after you've watched it, right? So I love, like I said, I love watching these things. And same with TV, you know, when you watch TV, there's a lot of commercials. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're on a diet and you're not eating, you're eating a lot and you're not, not wanting to. I'm always on a diet, so I know the feeling before. I did, I did find I was eating a lot.
I'm not like that now. I never would be. I'm very happy. I never lose weight. Or I never gain weight. I'm, in, I'm always diet mode ready. Always ready to be thin. Always super sterile. And same with you guys if you want to be like that. And if you don't, that's fine too. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'm really helpful for people that want to die. And that's just that. Anyway, so you watch TV and you're like, all these things, you're like, why did this, why did this video make me feel so bad? And why does it always have food commercials? And why this? Why that, right? So you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. I didn't want to get really big and you just sit there and me, me, right? So anyway, um, you know, get, get, when you watch any form of entertainment, always have your own sort of sense of self with you before you watch and while you watch. And don't, don't let yourself sink into a negative frame of mind or whatever. Now, I'm not saying this is always what happens or that, like, this is when you take it to an extreme, right? Like, for the most part, they're very positive and awesome and you really enjoy it and you have fun with it. But I'm just saying in general, um, you watch a video and it makes you think, oh my god, I need to lose weight. And then and then you watch a video and then it talks about food and you're like, oh, I gotta eat. And then you're like, oh my god, I just ate. And then you watch a video and it talks about how body shaming um, is okay. You know? you know what I mean? Like, you might watch all these videos and they get you in a downward spiral. And I'm not saying this happens typically. And I'm not saying this is what people see all the time when they watch. But just in case you're in that mode where you're like, this is leading me to this, this is leading me to that, why am I doing this, why does this bother me so much? You know, when you really need to focus on what's important, which is your actual sense of self that you began with, which is something you've always had, you know, a positive one. Anyway, and like I said, I'm not saying this happens for everyone. I'm not saying this is something that happens to even anyone. Maybe no one even feels this way. But if you do feel this way, maybe you're like, thank you, I really didn't notice this is what was happening. And like I said, I watch YouTube and TikTok and TV. Well, I don't watch TV, but I watch YouTube and TikTok for hours at a time. I really enjoy it. I really like it. But... And I really enjoy people like me, you know, where they just strictly entertain and they're not mentioning, they're not mentioning eating or they're not mentioning how to feel miserable in a way, in that, like to coerce you to feel miserable. I'm always positive. So, you know, I'm really happy about that. But, so yeah, so if you, if you, so I watch TikTok YouTube like a lot of hours when I have time. And so I really recommend it, watching it, but making sure that you're solid in your belief about yourself before you watch, like, and this is like every day, you know, so be solid in your belief always, so you're never worrying about what impression you are getting from YouTube or TikTok. If you don't like a video, or it doesn't resonate with your ability to, to feel good about yourself, then it's not a good video for you. All right, bye now.